Okay, we have all fractions, so we'll take the reciprocal of the divisor, or you might say flip the fraction by which you're dividing. Change your division to multiplication. And we'll just bring down 5 over 6x. We'll cancel, we will reduce if possible, so canceling x to the first, subtract 1 from 2. This leaves us with just x in the numerator. And then we have a common factor of 2 in 6 and 10. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Now we'll multiply straight across. There's nothing else we can reduce. 25x and 3 times 3 gives us 9. Looking over here, we have all fractions, so we'll take the reciprocal of the divisor. Change our division. Bring down what we have left. Now let's see what we can simplify. y to the second takes care of two of them. So this is y to the first now. And we have x versus x to the third. So cancel that x, subtract one, leaves us with x squared in the denominator. And let's see, we have a common factor of nine divide by 9 leaves us with 3 divide by 9 leaves us with 1 and a common factor of 2 divide by 2 divide by 2 uh, we've reduced all that we can so we multiply straight across and this leaves us with that's just a 1 2 and a y, so 2y. Over 15x squared. Now here we don't have all fractions. We'll make this a fraction by putting it over 1. We take the reciprocal of the divisor. Change division to multiplication. And bring down what's left. So this is 20c to the third over 1 we'll be able to reduce so this is c to the first subtract one leaves us with c to the second notice with b there's no way to cancel it so this variable is just going to come along for the ride so to speak and then we have a common factor of four divide by four divide by four We can't reduce any more, so it's 5c squared b in the numerator. In the denominator, it's simply 1, so this isn't considered simplified. You have to write this as, make sure it fits, 5c squared b. So that's our answer. Over here again we don't have all fractions. We'll make this a fraction by putting it over a 1. Now we'll take the reciprocal of the divisor.
And this negative can sit up top, down below, or right in front. It has the same meaning in this case, so I'm just going to put it in front. Division changes to multiplication, and then we just bring this down. We'll simplify wherever possible. X cancels X. This isn't gone, it's a 1 now. And there's nothing else to cancel. So positive times a negative is going to leave us with a negative. There's only a 1 here, so 1 in the numerator. And then 5y to the third in the denominator. All right, we have all fractions, so we'll flip the fraction by which we're dividing. Leaves us with t over k to the third. Change our division to multiplication. And we'll just bring this down. Negative k to the third over t squared. We'll reduce, if possible, k to the third cancels k to the third. I'm going to reduce by the one of which there's fewer. This is t to the first power. And now I'll subtract one from two leaves us with t to the first power. We can't reduce anymore. We multiply straight across negative. The numerator simply has a one because when I canceled that, it was a 1. When I canceled that, it was a 1. So we have negative 1 over simply a t. Looking at 7, we need all fractions. So I'll put this over a 1. Now we take the reciprocal of the divisor. Keep up with our negative. Change division to multiplication. Bring down what's left. Negative k squared over 3. Reduce if possible k squared cancels k squared. Nothing else will reduce. Negative times negative is a positive. So we simply have 1 in the numerator. 3 times 12 is 36. This is the first time that we'll be able to reduce before we take the reciprocal. If you notice in these previous problems, I couldn't reduce anything before this step. But now I have y over y to the eighth. So I can ignore everything else and just clean this up, so to speak, before I get started. So y, this is y to the first, subtract one leaves you with y to the seventh in the numerator. The three and the twenty-six, you can't reduce anything. There's no common factor. And over here, we can clean this up a little. y squared cancels. Subtract two. Leaves us with three. Now that we've simplified all that we can, we'll take the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed as we have in the previous examples. So we flip the fraction by which we're dividing. Change division to multiplication. We'll bring this down. We have 12y to the third over 13. Uh, 
uh, we'll reduce wherever possible y to the third means we can subtract three and with 13 and 26 divide by 13 divide by 13 this 4 is an exponent for the y so you certainly can't do any canceling here we've simplified or reduced all that we can so we're left with ooh there's still a common factor here if I didn't catch it at this point once I got out here I would just have to do more reducing but I prefer to cancel right now so divide by 3 divide by 3 we've simplified all we can 4 times 2 this leaves us with 8 in the numerator and y to the fourth in the denominator and again before we even start I could take the reciprocal but there's so much to look at I'm gonna simplify before I even get started with the multiplication so x to the third x to the tenth cancel that subtract 3 leaves us with 7 and then we have r to the first subtract 1 leaves us with r to the fourth with the 5 and the 36 we can't do any reducing and let's see x squared means we can subtract 2 leaves us with 5 cancel the r squared subtract 2 just r to the first if I could simplify here I would but there's no common factor again if I could simplify here I would but there's no common factor now we'll take the reciprocal so the numerator is going to have 5x to the seventh the denominator is going to have 36r to the fourth you might notice this is much easier to look at than the original fraction we'll change division to multiplication and we have 9r left in the numerator we have 20x to the fifth left in the denominator and we'll reduce so this r cancels one of these leaves us with r to the third x to the fifth lets us subtract five so we're left with x squared in the numerator we have a common factor of five divide by five divide by five divide by nine leaves us with four divide by nine this leaves us with one so you're left with x squared in the numerator and we have four sixteen r to the third in the denominator If you'd like a little practice with the concepts at my website, mrbformath.com, I have a worksheet with a detailed answer key.